Yeah, definitely. The main thing I'm looking towards is the stabilization of the bot lane, just making sure that Kaylin Ash are able to play the lane how they want to. You know, warding for those level one, level two ganks if Gooby comes down early and, you know, because Caitlyn loves, they just want to hit those waves and want a three wave crash. A bit tankier. He's anticipating the cheese though with that ward tech, right? Wants to get vision control, wants to get bush control, right? Prevent them really being able to land traps and harass Freeze. There Ooh. is the skewer, there is the damage, ignite, flash. They're in for the kill right now, somebody heal. Is it enough? I think it is. Burning down to 30 HP and they turn it around into Dante's hit. That's one. Bulldog can't convert it into an answer back. They won't get the one for one trade. Ash, that's yeah. lethal next hook. Yeah, But absolutely. they go for that play, right? They go a little bit too far and it gets punished. And so now Bliss find themselves in a position with an Elise mid lane. This is really clever because I didn't spot why not on Vision. The ward, the flash, the cocoon and the kill. And it shuts down Infus nicely and really makes sure that Daystar gets ahead. You have to feel like Ground Zero could have potentially played that a bit slower. I don't know if they, if Bliss actually had the whereabouts of Gooby there. If they did manage to hit the Pi Q, but here we go again. Oh, he's laying the skewer this time. They don't miss this time. Why not? Taking a little bit too much for the taking there. Right, unless it's on the Elise who has a rappel up. But here we go. Gooby is hovering around. You'd have to assume just for the wave crash, but here goes Bulldog. Looking for the skewer. Goes for the turret. Oh, that's clever. You think it's going for Lemus. Instead, it's a trap. He went for Benvi. Yeah, that flash from Gooby, I'm not sure from why not on this pushing wave, but Ground Zero doing a good job of clearing it. They do the lethality of Varus. As the arrow comes out onto Great Bulldog. arrow, there's the flash. And there is the annihilation oh. of Pike's hopes and dreams ready to try and counter at the one. Oh, you know, he summoned it. He summoned it. In okay. the river we go. Drake going to fight Herald here. <laughs> Tron also going to build some items just prior to this fight starting. Completes the Radiant Virtue. Fights oh, on. they've sounded the horn, in they go, flashing into the stun still though, Bendy. Really is going to get zoned away from this situation, and Daystar just gets jumped upon. Everybody's here. And it feels like a bit of miscommunication here, as Lyft is still on the flank, does have the ult, is full HP with that Gordrick completed. He is able to dish out a fair bit of damage. It doesn't look like Bliss want to give this up. Never wants it though, he's popped the Dominus. He's going to go into this fight on his own right now. 1v5, they turn our attention off that dragon. Why not goes in? He needs to stay alive. Gooby's Gooby dead. dead, they have no smite. Why not still surviving? He's burning down at 20%, but if he's still there, it is a freebie for them to deny away. The fight continues, they're chasing on. Bulldog is hungry, but he has to run. Because Lyft is still keen. That gets punished. Speaking of, they're looking for it. They're waiting for the face check, aren't they? Would Team Bliss fall victim to those shenanigans? Why would they? Because they have an Ash, but it doesn't matter. They can do Lucian things when they travel from such great distances to lock you down. And that was Gooby finding his target, but falling for his crimes. Gets answered back really well there by Team Bliss. Oh, here's the only magic damage. It's not like there's a Yone doing mixed damage. Is the only magic damage on the team. And he wants to do as much AP as he possibly can. Oh. Dante pulls the trigger. That's a flash. Change the corruption. There's a chant. There's a kill. Instantly removing Benvi, but it's the support again. Daystar goes gold and utilizing, or rather, why not goes gold and utilizing the stopwatch. And drop down from the skies again and say, well, you've taken my support, but it doesn't really matter. Look how much you burnt for it. And that is a successful replay of the exact play we saw before, right? Camino's ultimate Silas and the lease can go Zonia's very early, and they're just tanks. Oh no, they've uh, completely read the play there in Gooby. Spotted. Phenomenal vision for a fight there. You get wiped, the game's over. Drake to just fall back to as well, right? So Ground Zero, they're trying. Cocoon just goes wide. Oh, Bulldog. Bulldog, this time the flash lands. Oh my <laughs> god, the ace in the hole! That damage! That's illegal! And he's got attack speed items! Here we go though, Gooby now in trouble, forced to use that assault and battery, but Benvi takes them down without any real concern or care in the world. Tron forced to run away. He's stunned, he's walking on a trap, he's unstoppable, but still, he is taking a bit of a beating right now as Daystar is agonizingly low. And the very defensively opted Ari is unable to find a kill. Auto attack, not able to throw out any spells really. There's just no threat onto the front line. As here we go, we're back into action. We are right back into the fold of things. And it's the team fight that actually starts off with Dante getting a kill. That's what you want to see. One at remove. That's a great charm. Lived in trouble. Out goes the call of the Forge Gods. And it's a flash away. But you've been sniped by the train. They've got the kill. That's what you need. But it's no objective on the map to take right now. Baron buff is expired. And uh, respawn time. Perhaps the why not effect comes in. Ash are going to come through. They've got Dante. Oh, it's pixel perfect. It's exactly who you want. Lemus can literally just walk at him and A click his way to victory. But as soon as it started, as soon as it ended, as the hook landing onto, onto <laughs> Bulldog here, Daystar's going to run him down. He'll have the W up in a second. Oh, no. He tried to cancel. Unable to leap away to safety and try. Another inhibitor structure. 
level 15 for Tron right now as he jumps in. That means two ornaments have been complete. Two men ever flush, charm, damage, and kill. That's Dante on the again. one. I mean, he's looking for it. They summon the all not once again. Of course, another. Got the Baron buff to threaten. Three inhibitors to be taken. Two look free right now. So they want to try and crash this bot wave in. That was a very nice Caitlyn ultimate to get rid of the Banshees for Daystar. You can see they were communicating that well. I was just going to say, even look at Daystar's stats right now. 200 armor, 100 MR. He's an absolute Poor. raid boss. You can't take him Monster. down. He'll kill you instead. A flash forward, a charm, a stun. Infus in trouble. Why not jumps down, but Daystar goes golden. Is this Grand Zero answering back? Slicing a dice. In goes Liv. Dominus active. He wants to take you down. He can't find it. They have every buff. The game could have fooled you, but they cannot find more than just a lonesome pike. Solopore comes in as well here, still threatening the mid lane inhibitor to fall. They're staying, they're looking for the end here and now. Ground Zero to defend. Only an assault and battery left here for Gooby. He needs to find the target they're off and need to coordinate this one. Great buffer there by Tron. Cancelling out the Enchanted Arrow, running back to the fence and they go. Turn their attention, turn their attention right towards the Nexus. They would have had the KDA, why would you not? This has been oh, a bloody affair and they want more of it. They're going to close out their week with a win.